All right, guys, we've got another new tutorial for you guys this day. Um, one of my favorite players um, growing up, Dirk Nowinski. Got a fantastic, fantastic fadeaway go-to move that he's done for years. Um, he's not the most athletic guy, um, but big man and small man can do this. It's the Dirk Nowinski fadeaway. Kind of a little bit of a step back to it, a little bit of a step back to it, and a fadeaway. The biggest thing you want to work on is obviously your jump shot and being comfortable taking a jump shot kind of a little bit off balance. Um, as you know, um, Dirk Nowitzki is a big guy, but he likes doing in the post a lot. But the big thing to this one is that it's off balance. It's almost on a one foot step back. Um, so it's a one foot shot. So be comfortable, kind of the biggest thing you probably want to work on, you don't even have to shoot, is just kind of catching the ball and being comfortable kind of going off that one foot. You can basically just do something like this. Um, and then get right into it. Um, he does it a lot of times on the post, um, turning over his right shoulder. He, it's kind of a travel, but a lot of people in the NBA now get away with it. Um, establishing that pivot foot, but then if you do it quick enough, you can leave that pivot foot and kind of create some space. And that's what he does so well, is he creates space between his defender, not only by bringing that leg up, but by jumping back at the same time. Just like that. Do it a little bit more now off the dribble. Take that jab step. So like I said, it's a lot of work. I'm getting used to jumping off just one foot and being comfortable versus kind of your, your regular off two feet and shooting. It's a little bit odd, but it definitely can create some space and separation from the defender. So um, that's the Dirk Nowitzki fadeaway. Make sure to head to GetHandles.com. Got a lot of workout plans for you guys that you can share with your friends, improve your game, get better and better. Thanks for liking.